There's an amazing mystery in the land of God, it even concerns the weather of the land of God. It actually reveals the mystery of the age, and it can change the season of your life. In the Book of Mysteries, there comes a desert rain, and the teacher and the disciple are watching it as the teacher then opens up the mystery of the rains. What brings you out here? Just a quiet place to read and meditate. Watch the rain. The rain brings life. Without it, life would cease. This is particularly true for the land of Israel, which was especially dependent on the outpourings of heaven. But there was another kind of outpouring in Israel. What do you mean? The scriptures speak of an outpouring not of water, but of the Spirit, the rain of the Spirit. What's the connection between the rain and the Spirit? The rain pours down from the sky and gives life to the land. The Spirit pours down from heaven and gives life to those who receive it. The outpouring of rain causes barren land to revive and become fruitful. The outpouring of the Spirit causes barren lives to revive and become fruitful. And this outpouring happened on the day of Pentecost. The Spirit of God was poured out on Jerusalem, on the disciples. It's the outpouring that produced the Book of Acts and changed the history of the world. Has there ever been another outpouring like this? Not quite like it. But there's a mystery, because there wasn't just one rain in Israel. There were two distinct rains with two different names. One was called the More, the former rain, and the other was called the Malkosh, the latter rain. One came in spring, the other came in autumn. Two rains, two outpourings. So if there were two outpourings in the land of Israel, then it must follow that there were two outpourings of the Holy Spirit. And it does follow, and there is. In Joel, God promises to send both the former rains and the latter rains, and to pour out His Spirit in the last days. And as the former rains came on the people of Israel, on Jewish believers and the world, so will the latter rains. And as the former outpouring, so for the latter. That which was barren will bear its fruit, and that which was dead will come alive again. One day there will come a latter rain. God says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And just like the first rain comes to Jerusalem and the Jewish believers, well, there's gotta be another Israel back in the world in the end times. Well, it's back. There had to be Jewish believers in Jerusalem. Well, they're back. And so that means we are readying, preparing for the latter rains, the Malkosh. And here's another mystery. If the first rains, you know, in, in Israel, they were one thing, but the latter rains were even greater. So could you imagine something even greater than Pentecost coming on the world? But when you see Jewish believers come back to Messiah, it means the days of the Malkosh, the latter rains are coming near. Now, how do you apply this mystery to your life? You might be looking at your life, it might be dry, barren, you're not producing the fruit God called you to. You haven't been full of the Spirit for years. Well, here's the wonderful thing. If there's been a, that was your former rains when you first came to the Lord. Well, God always has another rain. And if you had the former rains, God will have for you another outpouring. The latter rains are yet to come. And when that comes, everything in your life that was barren will bear fruit. See, you can't, don't get down on yourself. You can't judge yourself because you can't produce. No land can produce. You need the Spirit of God. You need the pouring. And the good news is God always has more. It's time to seek the Lord. Seek the Lord now. It's not over. God has something better. The best is yet to come. Because if you've had the former rains, God has something waiting for you called the Malkosh. The Malkosh. It's time to seek the latter rains, and they will pour out upon you and your life will bear much fruit. No one likes to talk about sin. In the ancient word for sin, it's actually gonna give you a revelation that will set you free.